Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to recap all of the work I did yesterday. I did share this picture on Instagram. So if you're not interested, you guys, you've already seen it. It's old news. <laughs> but um, I figured in order to participate fully with less hauls, more makes, I really needed to just bite the bullet and get my paper organized so I know what I have. So we're going to take a look at what I did and we will start. So the paper is all I've worked on and it took me all day yesterday. So what I did was um, I got this paper sorter when uh, a lady in my area was de-sashing all of her scrapbook supplies. She gave me this sorter plus most of this loose leaf paper. So... I did go through it and I decided it would work better for me if I did my craft in brown shades here at the bottom, black, white, cream here, um, red, orange, purple, yellows here, blues and greens here, and then this huge stack is for textured um, patterns, grungy patterns, and... Um, I have a lot of that. Who knew I liked that so much? This one here is specifically going to be for junk journaling. It's papers that um, just have that aesthetic for me. And so I separated all of that. This one is male oriented, male themed. And here I was thinking I didn't have anything for masculine cards. Yeah. This one is female oriented. And can be used for all kinds of girly projects. This one is florals. And then this one is just random. So if I had a sheet of just one collection. This is Dear Lizzie Serendipity. Um, but I could use that on a sweet treat typed um, theme if I wanted. That is up there in the top. So... Over here, this is a scrapbook I have yet to scrap in because I'm not a scrapbooker, but um, that same lady gave me this to try my hand at it. Um, and don't mind my gloves. It is really, really cold. So these little plastic containers, I got a, I think it was a 12 pack or a 10 pack when Paper Studio is on 50% off. So I need one more of these. But the way I have these organized here, these are paper collections. So, like the collection kits that you get from Tuesday morning for $5.99, that is a lot of these. And when I go to the expo, I get a lot of my paper from Photoplay. I love their paper. It's good quality cardstock. Um, almost as thick as Prima, in case you guys haven't used it before. And they have great sales. So at the expo, you can get five paper collections that include the stickers for $20. So that has served me well. Um, so in this first one, um, this is actually Paper Studio, the Hey Girl. I cut this up to use for my address book repurpose project. And there were so many small sheets of paper I needed to contain it. So that's in this one. The second one is Authentic and Doodlebug and I think uh, Pebbles is in there too. This one is all Echo Park. Let's see. This one is My Mind's Eye. A couple collections in there. This one is like my fantasy kind of items. Um, so Paper House, Where the Wild Things Are, as well as all of my Harry Potter stuff is in there. Okay, then we have, um, this is the photo play, one of them. So, uh, Several, several collections in here. Just on the front is Paprika. And on the back is Vintage Girl. 
This one is another photo play, and these two collections actually coordinate with each other, so I wanted to make sure that I put them together. So this one is Campfire, and this one is Lakeside, and I love using those. Um, I just like those colors, and the critters are cute. And then last here is Simple Stories. And there's all kinds of collections in there. A lot of them have been used and are very loved. But this way I can just pull the whole folder out, get what I need, and go on. <clears throat> this here, these are all of the chipboards that I have that I don't have the collection for. So if I have the collection, it's in an iris container with that paper pad. But these, I don't have the collections, so they are loose in here. This pink one, also from Paper Studio, 50% off. They're $1.99. They're a little bit bigger. The colored ones are bigger than the clear ones. So in here, I have all of my glitter paper. I have decor. Y'all saw me haul that. My husband hasn't put that up yet. But he did um, paint these two crates. I recycled from my photography prop stash. And we made additional storage with them. So in this container, this is all vellum. So tons of vellum. This one is specialty paper. The kind of paper you get open stock, but it's in those little plastic sleeves to protect it. That's what's in there. And then this one is cards, like, um, not cardstock, chipboard, not chipboard, but I forget what it's called, that really thick cardboard, like, cereal box containers, that as well as some handmade paper. These little deals I got at Dollar Tree, and you can see I have put all of my 8.5 by 11 paper in there. These are all of my pocket letter supplies, so the eight and a, the baseball called card holders as well as the smaller ones. And then on top I have some of the iris containers. This doesn't include the Valentine's or the Easter one or the Prima one because the Prima one is really, really heavy. So here on the bottom I have Maggie Holmes. More Maggie Holmes. This is all of her collections. Any chipboard, any large pieces of ephemera or um, stickers that go with the collections. They are all right here in one place. So I know if I'm working my Maggie Holmes projects, I can pull both of these down and everything will be here. Um, and then I have two ephemera boxes that I pull. This one is Jen Hadfield. So again, any paper, chipboard, ephemera, whatever is in here. And then this one on top is the All Heart collection I'm putting together. So that is there while I'm building that um, collection. Once it is done, I'll recycle this for another designer. But that just lets me know uh, in one location what I'm missing from that collection. Okay, so back down to here. These are all of my 12 by 12 pads. They are either in here horizontally or um, vertically. But everything I own is here. It's all alphabetized or it is in there by theme depending on how I had to uh, load it. Here on the end, the authentic only fit a certain way. So it literally is in there pretty snug. Then I have all of my 6x6s by uh, organized by designers. And that cubby is full. Now, the that's part of my horrible ribbon stash. But those cubby boxes I haven't reorganized. I need to get more pink. I haven't found more pink, but I'm on the search for it. But yeah, so that is what I did yesterday. I did find some loose sheets and a couple of pads that I'll show you in a different video that are, <coughs> excuse me, 
that are going to be quick projects. Like I need to knock the, the, say there was just that one sheet of happy birthday paper on top. I pulled it out. I can automatically quickly make some birthday cards out of it and be done with it and get it out of here. So that is what I have done, you guys. Now I do have two challenge entries I didn't get to share. So I need to sit down after I get off work and film those two. And I don't think that informed delivery had anything coming today. So I've got a little bit of time to play with since I kind of took the weekend off to work in here. And real quick, you guys saw the picture I got for Christmas of my baby hubby. <laughs> I went to my mom's house and I got my picture um, the same time frame he and I are both four in each of these pictures wasn't I beautiful so I got to get a frame for this this is 11 by 14 we didn't have my mom didn't have an eight and a half by 11 so she just told me to take this one and yeah so little throwback pick there for you look at how cute I was <laughs> And um, with that, you guys, I hope y'all have a wonderful day. I'm going to clock back in, film this video on my lunch break. So, got to get back to that grind, you guys. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Much love.